Hello, in this video we are going to learn about Quicksort. Let's start with what is Quicksort. Quicksort is a divide and conquer algorithm. It was developed by British computer scientist Tony Hoare. It is so named as for large n it can be somewhat faster than merge sort and other common sorting algorithms. It requires time proportional to n log n on average to sort n items. It is an in-place and stable sorting algorithm. Quick sort is also called as partition exchange sort. It works by selecting a pivot element from the array. It partitions the array by placing the pivot in its sorted place in the array and moving all numbers smaller to pivot on left and larger numbers on the right. It then partitions left and right into two subarrays. The subarrays are then sorted recursively by using the same steps of selecting a pivot and partitioning it. Let's see how it works in detail. Now if you have a list of unsorted numbers, first thing is selecting a pivot. You can select the first element of array as pivot or pick last element or median or random number as the pivot. We are going to pick the last element as pivot. Next, there are two parts in quick sort. One is partition function, whose job is to partition the arrays into subarrays around the pivot, and quick sort recursive function, which calls partition and then calls itself to sort the left and right subarray. Let's take a sample array of seven unsorted numbers to see how quick sort works. So, first step is picking up a pivot. We are using the rightmost element as a pivot. So 3 is our pivot first. Next we simultaneously move in from both ends of the array towards center of the array. When we are moving from the beginning of the array, we compare each element and stop if we find it larger than the pivot. So we stop at 9 itself, which is greater than 3. When we are moving from the end of the array, we stop when we find any element which is lower than the pivot. So we stop when we reach 2. We then swap these two. We continue this till i and j meet which is at 8. At this point, we have found the position in the array where 3 should be placed in the sorted array. So we swap 8 and 3. Now 3 is in its sorted position. Now the program partitions the array into left and right subarray and starts the sort process on them recursively. First, it will take left array 2 and 1 at index 0 and 1. Here again, rightmost number 1 is taken as pivot. We again move from the beginning and stop at 2 which is bigger than 1. From right side 2, it stops at 2 as it has reached end of array. Now 2 is swapped with 1 and 1 has reached its sorted place. Now again 1 is used to partition. There are no numbers on left side so it reaches the base case and on right side there is only one member which is 2 which is also our base case so it returns. Now 1, 2 and 3 are all in their sorted positions. Then it moves to right hand side and picks 8 as the pivot. We again start from the beginning of the array and find the first number which is greater than pivot. Here we stop at 9 and from the right hand side we stop at 4. We swap these two numbers. Then we continue moving from beginning and stop at 9 which is greater than 8. But now we have crossed j so we stop here and swap the 9 with pivot position. With this 8 is also sorted. It now splits its left and right for further sorting. Now for array 4 and 7, 7 is picked as pivot. It again starts from beginning to find a number bigger than the pivot. It reaches pivot itself means 7 is already at sorted position. Now it starts the partition process so left side of 7 we have 4 since there is only one digit it is individually sorted and reaches our base case. On right side, since there is nothing, it also reaches our base case. Now it goes back to 9 on the right hand side. 
since that is also individually sorted, we reach our base case. If you combine them, you see we have our sorted array. Few points to note here. In every partition, the pivot is placed at its sorted position in the array. After partition, the number lower than pivot are on left hand side and number greater than pivot is on right hand side. For the fastest runtime, the array should be partitioned into two parts of roughly same size. Worst case scenario is when partition repeatedly creates one smaller array. Like for example, when array is sorted in reverse order. Let's write the pseudocode for it. We start with the recursive function quicksort. It takes in as parameter array, lowest and highest index. To break the array during partition, we do not create a new array every time. What we do is, we use array indexes to tell us the start and end of the array. We first write our base case, which is if lowest index is greater than or equal to the highest index, means if there are no or only one member in the array, we return as the array is already sorted. In the recursive case, we call the partition function to split the array into two subarrays. It returns to us the index of the pivot. We then call quick sort twice for both the halves of the array. This is the main recursive function for quick sort. We will now write the pseudocode for partition function. The partition function takes in parameters which are array A with value of lowest index and highest index of array. So first thing we need to do is set up index i and j. i to start from low index and j to start from high index. We set the pivot to the rightmost numbers in the array. We then set up an infinite while loop. Inside it, we first move the index i forward till a number greater than pivot is found. Similarly, we move j backwards till we find a number which is lower than the pivot. Then if i is greater than equal to j means they have crossed each other or we have traversed the entire array, we need to break out of the while loop. If not, we swap the lower number to beginning of the array and higher number to the end of the array and continue the process again. Once we are out of the while loop means we have traversed the complete array, i is at the position where pivot should be finally placed. So pivot element is swapped with the position where i is. This is the sorted position of array. Now let's convert the pseudocode to Java code. We will first write the code for the recursive function quick sort. The function taken as a parameter, the integer array to be sorted and the low and high index of numbers to be sorted in the array A. Here too, rather than creating new array every time, what we are doing is using indexes to mark the start and end of each array. We first write our base case which is if low is greater than or equal to high means there is no or only one element in our array, we return as it is sorted. In the recursive case, we first call partition function to split the array into two parts. It returns to us the index of the pivot where array is split. We then call quick sort again, first for left side which is from index low to pivot pos minus 1. It's minus 1 as we do not include pivot pos in the next iteration. And then for right, which is from index pivot pos plus 1 to high. Same we have plus 1 over here to start from the next element after the pivot pos position. Now we will write the code for partition function. We will set up i and j index to start from the beginning and end respectively. We then set the pivot to the last position in the array. Then we set up an infinite loop. Inside it, we first run one while loop to increment i index to the next number which is greater than pivot and another while loop which decrements j till it finds next number which is smaller than pivot. 
It then checks if i has cross j or a same as j. If yes, it breaks as we have traversed the whole array. If not, it swaps the larger number in the beginning of the array with the smaller number at the end. This process continues till i is greater than or equal to j. Once we are out of the while loop or have traversed the complete array, i is at the position where pivot should be placed. So pivot is swapped with the position where i is. This completes our program. If you have any doubts, you can reach out to us at simplycoding.in. Thank you and goodbye.